this is over nine minutes long and usually it takes over nine minutes to render <music> Okay, this is to show how fast a Threadripper actually rips through rendering. I've done rendering in the past um, using Sony Vegas Pro 14. That's what we're using here. So I'm going to show you uh, the 16 cores. We're actually we turned off um, SMT, so we don't have any virtual cores. So this is just a straight 16 core CPU, which is what I like to use mainly. Um, because I'm using real physical cores, logical cores, than virtual cores. That's just me. <laughs> Sorry. But um, anyway, what we're going to do is this is the video that I just uploaded yesterday. And I wanted to show you how this actually, this is, it, which is interesting. The reason why I'm bringing this up is because this is, an, this is over nine minutes long. And usually... It takes over nine minutes to render. Usually it'll take 15 minutes to render a nine minute video. This is a little different because this is a thread ripper, so it's gonna rip the crap out of stuff. And I just wanted you to see how fast this thing actually renders. It's quite impressive. So we're gonna start rendering it now. This is the same one. I, I, I'm just I'm gonna use this as a guide or as a as my bench test because I can't believe how fast it goes. So we're gonna just render it now. We're gonna we're gonna name it um, test. So you're kind of seeing what I'm doing. This is how I render my stuff. So we're gonna start rendering it and we're gonna move this over so you could see how much CPU is being used. All 16 cores are actually rendering this video, which is huge. So Sony Vegas Pro kicks some major ads, but look how fast this will do it in. It's a nine minute video in just over six minutes. That's unbelievable. <laughs> That's crazy. So let's, let me double click this so you can actually see the percentage being used here it's 71 percent cpu utilization on the cpu so we're not even pegged at 100 percent so this is very efficient now if i had smt turned on of course it probably be less because then it's using virtual cores as well and it'll be lower but i like to use raw horsepower to render my stuff to get done quickly so actually it's gone up a little bit So seven minutes, it's still less than one to one. It's not one to one. It's actually less than that. So it used to be one to two or one to three. It would take substantial longer amount of time. So this is definitely a huge, huge boost. And in, in other words, rendering my stuff is so much faster. It's not even funny, but you can clearly see that it's ripping away and it's going very quickly. So in other words, my videos are, are going to be done much faster, which is huge, which is the whole point. So that said, if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Take care. Guys, don't forget about the giveaway that I'm doing. Giving away the H7 Totem Edition Sound Blaster X headphones. Go to the forum, sign up, and get involved. Giving this away October 8th. Creative Labs iRaw. Plug it in like, like this. The inside of this is really impressive. 100A in the Prius. The AC adapter, one amp charger. And it's big, and it's made out of aluminum. Okay, as you can see, the backup is complete. Like so. And now you can create the RAID array. I mean, for the, for the price difference between the two, 